Hi guys, it's Matt, the Magman, sporting my new hat. And seeing as very soon uh, all of the children are going to be home. You guys, you're going to be home. It's going to be amazing. Uh, but that doesn't mean school's going to stop. It means we're going to have to have a go at uh, doing some homeschooling. So uh, me too, my, my two girls, they're going to they're gonna come and join me on, on Instagram. We're going to do some cool, fun uh, <laughs> teaching stuff. So... I thought I'd start with something. I was playing a board game the other day and I was, we were mucking about with the dice. And I thought, it's a cube. Your yeah, dice is a cube. Now, here's a thought, right? I have made a beautiful cube using magformers. And I just kind of stuck some little, uh, little numbers on the inside. Now, hopefully you will remember that any 3D shape has a face an edge and a vertices or a vertex that makes it a three-dimensional shape and any three-dimensional shape is built up from a net now i thought it'd be fun see i made myself my own little net and you guys have probably done this uh, anyway you know where you, you'd make this and you'd have to to fold it up so what i thought i would do i'm going to try and make my cube by following a little pattern, which I made. And I just drew around my magformers, you see, to make a little pattern, like that. And by folding this up, I'm left with a cube. Or a dice. It's a dice. Now, obviously, you guys will know, you don't have to uh, fold it up if you really want to. You do the whole clever one-handed thing, which I'm always impressed with. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now this is kind of this is where it gets really cool, and I mean like super cool, because on a dice, it's something called the principle of the seven pips. This is totally true, and and you have to check it out for yourself after after you stop watching this. Any die. Whatever number you're looking at, the complete opposite on the other side will add up to seven. This is true. For example, I have one on this side. The opposite side of the dice is the six. So, one plus six equals Seven. <laughs> That's crazy. We'll do it again. All right. Uh, let's, we'll, we'll do it random. I'm just going to roll the dice this time. We'll do it like a random roll. Oh, no, that's the six again. That's the one again. Four. Brilliant. Four. Opposite the four is the three. So, four plus three equals seven. This is true on every single side of your die, or your dice. Um, let's do five. Five plus two is seven. Absolutely. Five plus two equals seven. Now here's one more fun thing for you guys to try as well. Um, and it's all very important. Of our uh, cube, the net you learn, and in fact, almost certainly the net you learn in school is that one. You almost always learn that one. But that is also a net of a cube. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. That's also the net of a cube. As it turns out, there are 11 nets for the cube. 11 different ways of making a cube from a completely flat two-dimensional shape. Your challenge, should you choose to accept it, is to figure out every single one of those nets. Right? Last little bit of a... Last bit of info for you. The cube, which is a beautiful shape, um, or your dice, your cube, is known as a platonic solid. 
which is one of five shapes that share uh, that name, the Plutonic Solids. Here's another thing. Do a bit of research. What are the Plutonic Solids? Can you make them at home? The answer is yes, you can. <laughs> um, so there we are. There's a, an idea of... Ooh, another bit of a homeschooling coming from yours truly. I'll be doing it myself very, very soon. Um, as always, happy building. Wash your hands. And um, I'll see you guys soon.